my mum kind of like told the whole world and that I was applying and I was just like mum why have you told everyone I'm not going to get in so it's just not going to it's not going to yeah I'm not going to get in so why are you telling everyone it's just going to reflect badly on me they're going to think I'm stupid like uh, but I think she always had like the confidence that you know I would have got in there so it's been re it was really nice to have that support from my family and friends but I didn't see it in myself because um, they saw it in me and they're still supporting me now to this day and I wouldn't be anywhere without them to be honest. I didn't really know anything about like the Cambridge application process, I didn't know that you had to apply to a college. Um, so I was having a look through all of the college websites and Newnham kind of just stood out to me because there was a quote on the, on the homepage. I'm now part of Newnham's proud tradition of producing strong, witty and rebellious women. I think that's what it was word for word. Um, and I just kind of fell in love with that straight away and I always found Newnham as a place that's very, very empowering so having supervisions with students in college um, so having just women in my supervision group I found to be really good for my confidence you know you hear about like some of the scary statistics on the news and you have this idea of what like a stereotypical Cambridge student is and I feel like I couldn't be further away from that um, you know coming from a it was quite a low performing state school um, in inner city Bradford, you know, my grandparents moved over from Pakistan in the 1960s and my granddad was a mechanic, my dad moved over and he worked in the factories like as a fabric cutter um, like 10, 10, 15 years um, and it wasn't really something I thought was for me so I still had those fears about it and I had a maths teacher, an old maths teacher said just try it, just try it, you don't know if you're going to get in um, but you also don't know if you will get in so I gave it a shot. There are lots of stages to it and at every stage I kind of thought, oh, you know what, I haven't, I haven't passed this stage, you know, there's no point in me like getting excited. And then I got an email saying, oh, you go through to the next stage. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, but don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get through to the next one. And then again, I got the email saying, you know, you've got an interview. Um, and at that point I was thinking, okay, there might be something here. So I went down to the interview and it was like one of the scariest things I've ever done. It wasn't something I'd ever prepared for, so I didn't have a mock interview. I didn't know what to expect. So I came out of the first one feeling a bit deflated because it was quite difficult and it was something, it was very different, it was something I'd never experienced before. And then the second one was more like an academic discussion, more, the, my interviews were quite young, quite friendly and I just came out feeling really good. So I really enjoyed it. I could say like with my hand and heart that I actually enjoyed my second interview because it just, you were talking about something that you're interested in with two people who are experts in their field, they just opened my eyes to seeing it in a completely different way. I just came out feeling like my head was just like ex exploded like wow I've learned so many new things and you know this place is really nice and I got like a tour of Newnham um, and it was just yeah it was really nice but then like we had to wait a month for like the between interviews and between like hearing back and that month was one of the hardest waits ever because you're thinking is this all gonna end now is it is it gonna carry on like I really really want it to carry on I really really do want to get this now and I think that was the one point where I kind of accepted to myself you know what I do want to go there um, because before that it was kind of I was kind of like fobbing off to everyone oh I don't it doesn't really matter I'm just trying it but at that point it kind of hit me I, I want to go to Cambridge um, and then I got I remember opening the email I remember I was sitting in class I think we were just about to do a mock exam and I was turning my phone off um, and as I was turning my phone off I got an email from uh, and the Newnham admissions officer and all I read was the word congratulations before my phone switched off and I said to my teacher oh can I just pop out for a second before the exam I just need to check something I just need to go to the bathroom um, and she's like yeah fine go for it and I just ran out and checked my phone and it said congratulations and it was just the it was just the most wildest thing ever I just felt so amazing um, and everyone else was in class so I was kind of just by myself like oh my god I found out this amazing news and I can't even go back and tell everyone so I had to like sit with this news for like an hour and a half while I was doing my mock exam and then as soon as I we finished the mock exam I just kind of told everyone around me and it was just the nicest feeling um, and then when I went home I didn't tell my mum because um, we got an interview we got a letter as well like a, an acceptance letter and so I knew it was coming in the post so when I got home and my mum came back from work um, we sat together and I said oh mum like if I don't get it it's fine and I think at that point she was quite worried she's like you know it'll be fine don't worry don't worry and then um, we opened the letter together and I already knew what was inside but she she didn't um, it was just really nice that like, she cried quite a bit I think we both cried a bit um, and I think yeah it was just one of the nicest feelings to know that everything had been worth it and you know it kind of made me feel like I am worth it too because I always had those reservations that I'm not good enough and you know admissions tutors wouldn't have wanted me but they did and it just gave me so much confidence and it just made me feel like you know what I'm going to work really really hard now for my A-levels to get the grades that I needed to get um, 
and I did and the next thing you know I'm here in Unum and I'm wearing a gown and I'm <laughs> signing my name into this book of like um, a book of women who've like been enrolled in this college and it's just it's, yeah it's just the maddest experience.